Hey, y'all, it's me. I just want to tell you a story about cake and show you my vintage fine turned gold. This is tea time with Pooh. <laughs> Not really. It's coffee time with Granny. This is about one of the colors, layered chocolate. And what do y'all think when y'all think of layered chocolate? I know what I think of. Cake. Hey, y'all. Guess where I am. Chocolate cake with yummy licious icing. I used to own a cake shop. My sister and I did. Two sisters sweet shop. We came down here because I wanted to find an old armoire and I'm gonna turn it into a coffee bar for my pastor's wife. It's a surprise. We were doing a groom's cake for my sister's really close friend. Have any of y'all ever ate the Hostess Ding Dong cakes? The little things are in the package, has a little white icing on top. Well, that's what this cake is. So I'm trying to find an armoire and I found one up front. That's beautiful. Can you imagine some gorgeous, luscious DIY paint dripping off of this? We're gonna make this cake huge. So we got this big, huge 16 inch on bottom that is four layers with all that filling. And then we got another 12 inch that's gonna go on top. It's gonna have all of this candy, and Kit Kat, Snickers, Rolos, Kisses, all kinds of chocolate candy. I'm so excited! it with all that chocolate icing on the outside. And I started on the 12 inch. Something about it just didn't sit right for some reason. I saw this technique on um, a lady's side. I'm not sure she wasn't using DIY paints, but I'm not gonna say who it was because she said, this paint's wonderful. I'm thinking, you ain't been using DIY paint. Anyway, I didn't. I just looked at her stuff and I liked the way she did it. There was something wrong. When I torted the layers and started putting in the filling inside, and I put the icing on the outside, I don't know, just something about it was kind of like shifty. Tell them that's Eileen's tactic book. Tell them. I'm not thinking. I ain't Eileen's tactic book. It's what okay, you're gonna paint the inside of this thing. It's gonna be pretty. I used faded burlap for my base coat. I used my Mr. Bottle and I just sprayed it on there and got my brush and worked it into the grooves of all of the molds and it just turned out so pretty. I knew the next step was just gonna be gorgeous. My sister's over there going, why are you freaking out? And I'm like, this cake, look at it, it's shifting. The big day arrives, it's time to go to the wedding. We're going to the chapel and we go get married. Not really. I'm, I wasn't going to the chapel to get married. I've, I've been married a long time now. Next is the blending process. So here I am just making sure that the brush is a little damp, not too wet. Going back and forth, different directions, up and down, across, and it just pulls that line, that really harsh line, into the next color and it just graduates all the way over till it's just a good smooth nice blend uh, i use the mr bottle here and there just to keep it a little bit flowing not much main thing is to keep that brush just a little damp not too much now i'd like to take credit for this and tell you that i just discovered this on my own i just woke up one day and said hey here's how you blend but that wouldn't be the truth. So I believe in giving credit where credit is due. I discovered this technique from a video that Debbie Fremmer put out, and her last name is spelled P-H-R-I-M-M-E-R. -M -M -E and it really helped me. And so I tried it, and it works. And it worked more than one time. So I'm like, okay, this is it. I can do so this. We're driving down the road going all the speed of one mile an hour because I'm freaking out. 
I'm like, hey, is it moving back there? And she's like, I can't see it. And I'm like, driving all the speed on the freeway of maybe 50 miles an hour. Because <laughs> I'm scared. Real scared. Okay, top piece was finished, except for waxing. This is before the wax. I will be putting clear wax, then white wax. And I ended up using white decrepit dust on the chocolate part at the top. And on the molds inside, I actually used dark wax there. This is such a beautiful piece and can't wait to show you the finished product. We're in front of this beautiful, beautiful facility that they had rented, and it's old and it's dreamy. So it had to be special. And not only that, it was my sister's best friend. I'm sitting there in front of this place. I pop the hatch of my Durango. My sister gets out to go back to look, just to make sure to ease my mind. Wax time now for the magic. You put this wax on and it turns into butter. I turned around and Boo was smelling of the wax brush. Look at him, looks like he's just smiling, licking his chops. He loves the wax too. <laughs> no, he did not eat it. It's okay, he didn't eat it. I've already applied clear wax. But something in her voice says, oh, Christy, no, um, you've got to get out and come look like now. So I get out and my heart is just like pounding, but just all, all of a sudden, this calm just, just rolls over me. So the waxing's done. It sets for 24 hours. Then you take a cloth and you just buff, buff, buff. And the more I buffed, the smoother it got, the shinier it got. It looked and felt just like butter. I love it. I'm looking at cake. Cake here, little cake there, but your cake, their cake, everywhere, cake, cake. Oh, McDonald didn't have nothing on me because there was like that 12 inch layer. It did like a swan dive. It just like, phew. So I just started taking candy out and throwing it in the bowl, taking it out. But I'm like, where is the nearest car wash? Now for the golden ticket. This is magic. I should have, but I didn't. And why I didn't, I don't know. Because that bottom part of that cake was still good. Why didn't I just like leave it in there Take it home and eat it. So once we get it all set up and all the candies back on it, you never know that this happened. Finally finished and I am so happy. It looks absolutely breathtaking. I just can't believe how beautiful it turned out. Don't even look like the same thing. Definitely a vintage fine turn golden. I'd like to say that I left there hating chocolate. Like, I'd like to say that I would never put a piece in my mouth again. And that I went on to live happily ever after with no fat cells singing, feed me chocolate. I'd like to say that, but it would be a lie. Look at that golden ticket, how it just made those molds shine. I love it. And I just know that my pastor's wife is going to be so surprised. I know she's gonna love this. There's a lot of times that good intentions turn really sour quick. But you know, you just got to get on with life. Grab that stuff out of it that's still good. Take the good things out of life and put it in that that's broken and make something beautiful out of it.
I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed redoing this beautiful vintage find. And for more crazy videos, just skip right on over there to YouTube and hit subscribe. The link will be in the description below along with Debbie's links to all of her gorgeous stuff. As always, love y'all.